I'm stood in front of the most impressive swim store I've ever seen in my life. That's because I'm in Tokyo and outside the Arena Japan flagship store in Shibuya. Let's, uh, let's take a look around together and see all the awesome tech suits and swim stuff they have inside. And if you ever visit Tokyo, you really must take a trip to this store. So as you enter the store, the first floor is all their team wear, their apparel, and a few exclusive items. So all this stuff here is exclusive to the Arena store in Japan. You won't be getting this on the international store or worldwide. They also have some Arena sunglasses, which are currently discounted. Upstairs is where all the cool stuff is though. So we're gonna take a walk upstairs now. So in Japan, Arena have four tiers of racing suits. The first is this knitted fabric. It's their Aqua Racing model. And it comes in a load of bold designs. I mean, like you can see all the designs here. These are all the same model. They are very, very affordable. Their prices, let me just check here. Their price is 9,240 Japanese yen, which is about 45 British pounds. That is, uh, yeah, very cheap for a racing suit. and. I think it's great they have this option for master swimmers and age group swimmers in Japan. We then have a second tier of knitted swimwear. This is their Aqua Advanced. It still comes in loads of awesome designs with a lot of neon yellows and different colors. They also come in a brief. I've not seen a racing brief in so many years since like the Speedo Aqua Blade back in 2000. So that's very cool that you can still, well, race in a brief if you want to. Uh, this suit is a little more expensive, but still very much affordable. The men's version is 7,590 Japanese yen, which, well, that's cheaper than the last one, isn't it? That's 37 pounds, so maybe I got the last one's price wrong, but these are very cheap. It's about four, 35 pounds for the, uh, the brief as well. We then come to their first woven suit, and this is a really cool model. This is their uh, Aquaforce Tri. Uh, again, loads of cool designs here. Even this uh, more stealthy design with the gold logo. And we obviously have the women's, the women's knee skins up here. This kind of feels more like uh, the race suit material we're used to. It's quite thick, but um, you can tell it's definitely gonna be very hydrophobic. It's 11,000 Japanese yen, which again is about 55 British pounds. The Fusion Tri, Aquaforce Fusion Tri. It's uh, got the stitch seams, but still, you can tell that this is a very quality swimsuit. And I would recommend anyone in the world who's like 12 and under or 14 and under, who wants like a beta suit for a million races a year, I would get like two or three of these for like less than a flagship suit in the UK. You can get four of these for less than a flagship suit in the UK. I've not tried it, but I can always tell you just by being hands-on with it that you'd be very happy with the performance um, and could, could race a load in that. Also, just for craziness, these are the junior suits and they are, <laughs> they are tiddly look. <laughs> um, so they make some very small sizes here in Japan. This is the woman version of the suit. Again, let's show the pink one. Again, clearly a very good value suit here. The Fusion Tri model. So if you do get the opportunity to get your hands on one of these, maybe you come visit Japan, I'd pick up a load of these. They do still uh, sell the Carbon Air. In Japan, it's the only Arena International suit they have. That's the, uh, the latest colorway of it. And then that brings us finally to their Arena Japan flagship suits. We have two flagships, and I will be doing full reviews of these in the future. But we have the Motion Free, the MF, that's their sort of middle distance and up suit. And then the CP, the control position, that's their, uh, their flagship suit. Uh, I love these new designs of the suits. I think they're way cooler than the, the previous ones with this four different colors of blue. And obviously you've probably seen some videos of Siobhan wearing the woman's version with the pink logo just for her. These, these suits are, well, if they're any better than the last suit, I tried the previous generation, which was the Aquaforce X here. I've tried this, I love this, and this is apparently better. It has some, some really cool new features, such as this like inner lining, which helps the rotation, the core connection of your swimming, which I'll have to try myself, but uh, yeah, super stoked to try this out. I'll be wearing this at the, uh, the National Masters meets in the coming weeks, and uh, I'll make a full review of that when I have done just that. And again, just, just confirming the affordability of these suits, but this model comes in, 
it doesn't say on here, but I think it's about 31,000 Japanese yen, which is again about 155 British pounds. Don't, I, I'm not, don't quote me that on the, the price, but uh, I'm pretty sure if I recall correctly, that is the price. So yeah, that is the Arena race suit line in, in Japan. Okay, we're now over in the goggle and cap section. We have some bags up the top as well. So mostly and at the front, we have all the Japanese goggle models. So this is their Aquaforce model. This is their new A, Aquaforce Swift A, which is uh, has like a soft gasket on what's normally a uh, gasket-free design. So it's normally quite, quite weird um, when you wear it for the first time because it's just plastic inside. But this one has a soft gasket, which is a lot more uh, comfortable. This is the old version. They still have the Cobra Ultra and the Cobra Core models. We have the Arena 3D Wave Cap. That's their uh, racing cap, which I've never got around to reviewing, but uh, it's a pretty cool model. Has like the, uh, the ripples on the surface. We have some more of their like training goggles. And then we have the uh, infamous mesh swim caps that they love to wear in Japan with loads of crazy designs, including their Disney collaboration. If you're a Disney fan, you can get Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck on your cap, which is pretty cool if you're into that sort of thing. They have a load of extra stuff down here and the rest of their Disney collection here as well. At the front of the store, there's a goggle recycling box. You can recycle any goggles. They don't have to be arena and all proceeds will go to Water Aid International countries where they need wells. They will provide for it's a great little charitable thing at the front of the store and I really like it as a use of old goggles that I'm sure we all have. I hope you enjoyed this look at the coolest swim store I've ever been to. I loved visiting Arena in Tokyo and I'd love to go back next time I visit. Arena Japan products are awesome. They're really exciting and I cannot wait to race in them. Two tech suits that I've got. I've actually received them back to the UK because uh, I don't have enough suitcase space to carry around all these suits because I'm right now in California visiting Brett Hawk. We're going to make some awesome content for you guys. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe to both mine and Brett Hawk's channel. Check us out on the Instagram as well at Hawk BR and at the swimsuit guy. Check out our websites www.theswimsuitguy.co.uk and www.brethawk.com because we've got loads of cool stuff happening in the coming weeks while I'm out here visiting. And that will follow up with me going to the British Masters Championships where we're aiming to get some world records trying out these new Arena Aquaforce tech suits. Thanks for watching. Do hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.